A valley known as Sleepy Hollow tells of a tale about a man who rides his horse at night. The story says the man died in the Revolutionary War. His head was shot off, and now he haunts Mr. Fisher's third grade, looking for his lost head. Welcome. This is Mr. Fisher Flip's third grade. Our agenda today is uh, to show you how to use a pictograph. I'm going to tell you a tell of my wigs. Um, and I still don't know what I want to be for Halloween, but maybe my wig can help you decide for yourself what you want to be. And I want candy! Can't have enough of it. Well, that's going to be part of your homework assignment, is to figure out how much candy you have. So have a spooktacular Halloween. Let's start out here. We are going to focus on pictographs. Bar graphs will be at a later point, but if you notice this is a pictograph because it has a symbol to represent how many days were sunny in January, February, and March. Well, a meteorologist is a person who studies the weather. Meteorologists measure the weather and keep careful records. The records help them predict the weather. Jan wants to be a meteorologist. She recorded information about the weather near her home for many months. For example, she counted the number of sunny, sunny days in each month of the year. She made a tally, here's a tally, mark for each sunny day. Here is her tally for the first three months. Notice January, there's 5, 10, 11, 12. February, 5, 6, 7, 8. And March, there's 5, 10, almost 15. But there's only 14. Well, the information Jan collected is called data. To display this data, she made a type of graph called a pictograph. A pictograph uses a small image on the graph to show data. Jan chose a picture of the sun to stand for sunny days. Here's Jan's pictograph. If Jan counts 10 sunny days in April, how many suns will she draw? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Notice I count by ten, twos. So we can skip count. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. There are only 10 sunny days in April. So as you can see, Jan is going to become a great meteorologist because she takes good data. And that's how you take your data. Well, if I have a wig of a tail to tell you lads and lasses, once upon a time. Well, here's my wig of a tail. Notice I have several different wigs. Different hats. What I would suggest is a scientist. A mod scientist. Or, here he is playing soccer with Mr. Fisher's f favorite team, the Sun Dogs. There's a Sun Dog. He was going to be a referee. Guten Abend. Here is Dainan Hausaufgabe heute Abend. So I'm going to estimate about how much candy I have. And I did separate one pile. And I noticed there's about six. And then I tried to estimate how much candy was in each pile. And I estimated there's about 15 in each pile. So there's 3 times 15. That would be. 15, 30, 45 pieces of Twizzler candy. And so what I would like you to do is estimate about how much candy you got. And I'll show you the graph here in a second. Is take your candy and your parents are going to say go to bed, go to bed. You can do it in the morning. And that's what I want you to do, but I want you to do it fast. So here's what you do. Guess about how much candy you got how much your sister got, how much your brother got, how much your friend got. And what you do is you just say, well, I want my candy to equal five pieces. Well, we better make five, 10, 15, 20. And then we take those four pieces and we put them up here and we got 20 pieces of candy. Well, that's what I'd like you to do. You can do it by fives, you can do it by three pieces, you can make the candy corn something else, 
You can make it equal 10 pieces. But that's your assignment for tonight. So be safe, get lots of candy, and don't forget to count it. And I would advise you to run if you see this character in the woods. Good night. That's all of the homework for Mr. Fisher Flips 3rd.